Morning everybody, welcome back to the channel, Earthly Delights. And in this video, we're gonna go through what sold over the weekend. I think it was 20 items that have paid and then we're waiting on two. So we'll go ahead and uh, and show you those things that sold and give you some updates on some things that, uh, that we've been up to. Melissa, do you wanna yeah. dive in and take it over? Yeah, so without further ado, Kelly um, went ahead and pulled all of the books because that's what sometimes drives me crazy. She pre-pulled the books and I'm going to go through everything that's sold. Yeah, if you've been mm -hmm. watching the channel for a while, you know our book saga. Yeah. Like over in the storage unit, we had book problems. They followed us here. <laughs> yes, they did. Yeah. As you can see, they're, they're right there. Right, yeah. Right there. But I wanted to make it easy for you. Oh, that's crazy. I know. I, I, uh, the first item that sold, um, just, I just listed a couple of days ago and I know where I put it. Um, fortunately, because I labeled it as being in bin number 14 and it's in 21. I don't know. I'm going to go back and check the others and make sure I didn't list. I probably listed them all in 14. Hopefully, um, working with COVID doesn't end up to have far-reaching disastrous effects <laughs> um yeah so the first thing that lists that that sold is one of these vintage dancing music boxes oh, i'll unwrap it um we got these a little while back on auction ninja as a lot and this is a here's a dancing circus clown and you pull it out he dances Mm -hmm. How many? How many? Do slow motion can can. Is that what it is? <laughs> it's the can can. Oh, nice. A very labored can can. Um. So how many did we get of those? How many music boxes were in that lot? Like I don't five, know, like five maybe? or six, and then I think one we of paid them... like thirty for all of them. So maybe we're in four or five bucks on each one. Uh huh. Yeah, this one sold for twenty nine. Great. And you listed this one. This is a really unusual one. Yeah. The the yearling. You yeah. listed it for one sixty. I. It may be a little bit high. It's just so unusual. I couldn't find it anywhere, and it's yeah. from Japan. Um, and it, and it has the box, so. Yeah. I don't know. I would you know we'll take a best offer on it. Um, but I thought I'd aim high. Yep. Aim high to start. Yeah. And then drop it if we don't get any attention. So I'm going to put these back. Will you remind me after the video to uh, double check if sure. I have these all as being in 14? Sure. It's in 21. Next up, we have a $3 book. That's from our personal collection. I thought so. I thought yeah, I just didn't use it and moved it on. Yeah, because that's what we do. And this is a vintage... Gap sweater. Do you remember where we got it? Cause I yeah, it's don't. from the nineties. <laughs> kind of looks very nineties, doesn't it? Uh huh. We got that. I believe. Is that New Jersey. You know what? I don't. It's, we've had it for a little while. Yeah. We probably paid three dollars for it, maybe five. Yeah. What and is it? It went for twenty. This is a Harmony Kingdom, um, little, uh trinket box and this one is called life's a picnic i will unwrap it so you can all witness the cuteness we had gotten a lot of these i think actually we got them on ebay we did yeah a little while back and see it's a little mm -hmm. little trinket box and it's bears eating fish. And gee, I don't remember what we paid for the lot, but we sold this one for 25. This is a really cool book that we had gotten at the Goodwill a while back. It's a, an art book, Rosenquist, um, and it sold for $30. We got it for three. Yep, and here we have an Andy Griffith CD. People do still buy Andy Griffith CDs. Apparently, didn't know they ever did. Um, this was, <laughs> and we sold this for twelve. A few weeks ago, we bought a lot of nine Hawthorne Simpsons Village 
uh, pieces for three hundred dollars. Uh, we've sold three of them so far. This is our fourth one to sell, and this is um, Android's Dungeon and Baseball Card Shop. I'll open it and you can take a look. I love these Simpsons Villages. They are they're so fun. We bought a lot of them last year and sold them all. So this is Android's Dungeon and Baseball Card Shop. It's a lighted piece. And let me just repack it properly. This piece sold for $60. We always look out for those on Marketplace. Yeah. And you found them last year and you found it this year. Is this the last one? Or, mm, we have I one more. we might have one more left. Um, a while back at an estate sale, almost as an afterthought, we picked up a big box of um, these great courses. Um, DVD and books. They um, were all sealed. Yeah, they were all sealed and this one sold for $22. Yeah, easy to list and um, the person running the estate sale was like, oh, don't even worry about those. Like, yeah. They didn't even charge us for them. We're always, always looking out for those things that are kind of on the periphery that yeah. like aren't the things that we necessarily like gravitate toward yeah but at the same time i can get behind books educational Educa materials absolutely yeah. yeah and and they they've made us money yeah i mean we've made like hundreds of dollars on yeah them. yeah that was definitely a sleeper yeah um and here we have a separate piece by john knowles this is a nice hardcover edition um from 1959 in excellent condition. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. That? Yeah, and that sold for $21. We're probably in a dollar on it. Let me see. You know, these are pretty well wrapped. I'd rather not I'll unwrap put, all of them. Yeah, I'll put an Pop image it up on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's um, a set of three wall pocket um, flying mallard ducks. They're ceramic, um, and they are stamped on the back uh, that they're made in occupied Japan. So that was late 40s, early 50s. And they're in good shape. They went for 30. We're not going to ship it in that. It just, no. uh, when we picked it up from the auction, they were wrapped in that. So Yeah, I, I wrapped them all up nicely in bubble wrap, and they're going to go um, in a box with lots of packing material so they don't break. Not like this. So um, far, nothing has broken this shipping out this season. Yeah, no. Our only mistake was that I accidentally sent um, a little Barbie ornament to the wrong person and they were kind enough to send it on to someone. Right. You I shipped that... them two things. Yeah, I shipped <laughs> They had bought for like $100 a set of mugs that were gorgeous. And um, in addition to that, um, I think that what happened was my label maker... For some reason, it um, it printed up two labels and I missed it and yeah. I slapped um, that same label on the Barbie. And so they were kind enough to send a message and say, hey, we got the mugs. They're great. But I'm a little bit confused why there's this Barbie ornament <laughs> in a separate box. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, so I just sent them. <clears throat> I refunded them an equivalent amount to the shipping and they agreed to send it on. So, yeah. And they were in eBay seller oh yeah yeah they were probably like I i've done that before oh either that or amateur <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, christmas sweater yeah. i love this one yeah it's really pretty I don't even remember where we got this. Was this from... We got it in an estate sale for a dollar. Ah, uh, this was that big estate yep. sale that mm -hmm. had um, just bins and bins of things outside. Yeah, so we got that for a dollar and sold it for 14 It's um, Jennifer Moore P Petites. It's knit by hand, it says. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we don't pass on holiday sweaters. Yeah. Halloween, even, Christmas. Yeah. And... Here we have Julie Doucette's a couple of comics mm -hmm. that we got at a yard sale down the street for a dollar, and they sold for 15 
Was it a dollar each or a dollar for both? Dollar for both. Nice. Yeah, we got a bunch of bunch of comics, graphic novels, yep. like 90s stuff. Yep. Very cool. Um, and this piece came from an estate sale. I don't even know what we paid. A quarter. Yeah, yeah I was going <laughs> to say bought a big. Color. We bought a big pile of them. Yeah, this yeah. is a vintage painting city villages and streets around the world. It's like instruction very cool yeah it sold for five and i'll just do the last couple of bucks while i'm at it um ender's game was this yours it wasn't no i think no. we got that at the goodwill for a buck oh okay sold for what did it sell for three oops wait where'd it go yeah it sold for three and this was another goodwill book that we got for a dollar um and which sold for three Good to move them on. And this is a handcrafted bat ornament. Um, we got these for a dollar each. We got a whole mess of, um, I think we had like four bat ornaments and a bunch of fish ornaments that um, I've recently listed the fish. Uh, yeah, we bought like 20 of them at the Goodwill. I think we paid like... They were a dollar each. I don't even think so because I think they were like on clearance. Right. So... It might I, have been 50 cents each. I think they were, yeah. And what did yeah. it sell for? 14. Yeah. Yeah, and for some reason the bat ornaments have been flying they're gone now off That's the, the shelves yeah <laughs> i think you kept yeah. one you kept one for halloween i kept one for our yeah. halloween tree yeah yeah yep. but we've been we've been uh, moving them something that we had gotten at a yard sale a long time ago um been waiting for these to sell it's a set of fishes eddie a cereal bowl and a coffee mug there are this is a good brand and um it's a really adorable elephant pattern and this is the mark on the bottom to look for and this set it's actually sat for a while um probably because it's not in the greatest condition you can see there's a lot of um like spoon marks in the bottom but still a good brand and we bought these at a yard sale didn't pay much and sold them for 12. where's the bowling alley here it is We also sold one other Christmas Village piece. Um, this is Twin Lanes Bowling Alley, which, where'd we get this one? I think we probably it's got that at the at a private pick private where pick. we got a lot of uh, Christmas and ha Halloween villaging things. Yeah. So we're, we're like a couple bucks, maybe five maybe bucks five, into it. Yeah. And we sold this one for 25. Lastly, we have this um, vintage made in Japan sled. It's a little rickety, which I did disclose, but um, hopefully people understand and are still happy well, with it. Well, it kind of, it, it fits in here. Like yeah. it's kind of like a puzzle, yeah. puzzle piece. Yeah, but it, it's, it's still, it's rickety. Um, it's collapsible. You know, I noted if they wanted to just, if they don't care about collapsing it, you could just put some wood glue in there and be all set. Mm-hmm. Now this it's is a something, cool piece. yeah. Oh my gosh, for display to put like, Christmas cards. you know, knee huggers and, and uh, Santas and little, oh, oh my gosh, I yeah. love it. I wanted to keep it, but I'm just, you know. Yeah, you know, I thought it was so it unusual, on. but there were quite a few of them listed out there. Um, so I just, you know, I just listed it a little lower and because you know it's got it's got some wear mm -hmm. but uh we yeah. were probably like, like a quarter into that we got it with a, yeah. a, a big box of uh vintage christmas ornaments at a private pick and it sold for 10 yeah right yep i'm just gonna just going through it one more time make sure i got everything what about the stuff that um sold but they haven't paid for yet do we want to just pull it yeah, well, one piece is those shoes, which I already have boxed up. Oh, I don't right. think they're going to pay. I think they're going to flake. <clears throat> it happens. I'm giving them one more chance. I actually could already cancel it, but I sent one more reminder. And mm -hmm. if they don't pay by the end of the day, I'm going to cancel and relist. Um, yeah, and the other thing was 
this California Missions book, which is really beautiful. Um, you didn't pull that, did you? Um, oh, it's in the it's in the top under the Linda Berry book, straight ahead in the back. It's the third book down. No, uh, over one. Third book in the down. back, yep. Yeah. yeah, this is a really gorgeous um, book that comes in a box. It's from like 1929, I think. It also has, it's wrapped, it's um, called California Missions. And really really gorgeous mm -hmm. like in the architecture excellent condition of, of the that area mm -hmm. yeah we got it at uh an estate sale for like a dollar yeah and it sold for 25 we took a best offer great so hopefully they'll they'll pay up and we can ship it to them pay, up. pay up pay up wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it so thanks for coming along on our uh pack and ship I'm going to get packing so we can get shipping. <laughs> and, That's what uh, we do. And then we're going to get to listing. Yep. Just trying to get that like last push in um, to get some more holiday sales. All right. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you for the next video. See you next time.